Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I finished up almost everything, but I had to work around Miss Callie this morning. And I have a lot to do on my list today, but cleaning the kitchen window ended up at the top. I try to include cleaning the windows with the zone that I'm cleaning that week. And this week's zone is the guest bathroom, but it was the perfect time to clean the window. And this time of year, we get a lot of days that start out cloudy and overcast, and we don't get to see the sun until the afternoon. And direct sunlight heats up the glass and makes it harder to clean. And when the glass is hot, the liquid evaporates too fast and leaves a film on the glass. So so I was trying to get the window clean before the sun came out today. <laughs> And I'm just using a little water and a window scrubber to scrub off anything that's still stuck to the glass. And it covers a large area, which helps to save time and effort. And the squeegee is the fastest way to get a streak-free shine. And once the glass is clean, I can just use the squeegee to remove the water and then a microfiber cloth to clean up around the edges. And the top of this window collects dust and dirt faster than I can clean it. And when it comes to windows, I don't bother trying to get them perfectly spotless. It's just too much effort for something that isn't going to last long. Water tends to splash onto the glass when we wash the dishes and clean up in the kitchen. <laughs> and when the glass on the outside is clean, all of those spots on the inside like to make an appearance. <laughs> Cleaning this garden window is a big job, so I only clean the entire window inside and out once or twice a year. <laughs> and in between, I just clean the larger sections of glass. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. Some love. I try to clean the shelves in this window once a week, and most of the time I just use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the glass, and then a dry microfiber to buff out the water spots. But since I already had the squeegee in my hand, it was just easier to use it. I used to dedicate an entire day to deep cleaning the kitchen and I would take everything off the countertops, clean everything and put it back. <laughs> and it was nice to have a kitchen that was sparkling clean, but it was just too much work to do all at once. So I started to break up the cleaning into smaller chunks and I have a few things that I like to do on a weekly basis and I just try to do a little bit every day. And I have a few larger tasks that I do every eight weeks when I clean in the zone. And I have videos for my cleaning routines that I will link in the description box if you'd like to learn more about that. I was never 
never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Cause nothing was changing, but with you it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. The bottom part of this back door is constantly covered in nose prints, so cleaning this back door is a weekly task that I try to squeeze in whenever I can. So before I put the squeegee away today, I took a minute to clean the bottom half of the patio door. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And we keep a bell on the door so that the dogs can let us know when they need to go outside. And I just use a suction hook to hang up the bell so that it's easy to remove when I clean the glass. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. I'm oh, a sweet baby. Take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet. Miss Kelly turned 13 in March and she's losing her hearing and she spends most of her day sleeping now. So I just work around her and I was waiting for her to get up so that I could straighten up in the living room, but I missed my window of opportunity. I have a load of laundry sitting in the dryer that didn't get folded yesterday <laughs> and a load of laundry from this morning that needs to go into the dryer and there's a few weekly tasks that didn't get done as well and most of the time I'm running behind schedule and trying to keep up and because we spent so much time cleaning up in the yard this spring I have zone cleaning that I didn't get done and I rely on routines to help keep the house clean and tidy but when I'm behind routines make it easy to get back on track without getting overwhelmed because I can just focus on the tasks that I have scheduled for that day and if I have the time and energy I will double up which is what I'm doing today I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just want to say that I feel that our love is real Should hurry up and seal the deal Have towels stored in different places in the house and I fold the towels to fit the space that I store them in and some of the towels I fold up to store in a closet and other towels I fold so that I can hang them up in the bathrooms. Looking in your eyes I just wanna love you till the day
rolling up the towels takes a little bit more time to do, but it maximizes the space that I have and it's a nice look to display them in open storage. I try to fold one load of laundry a day and I like to get it checked off my list as early as possible. But we had an unexpected trip to the vet this week and we're not sure what happened, but Ace injured his front leg and he's been having trouble walking and the x-rays look good and we're giving him medication for the pain and we're trying to limit his activity. Ace turned 12 last December and he's so full of energy that it's hard to keep him still so that he can recover. And he was struggling to get up and down the stairs so we put up the gate to keep him off the stairs until he's walking better. I made a few changes to the laundry room not too long ago and I moved these shelves back to this wall and I'll try to add a link to that video in the description box in case you missed it. And I didn't have the time to clean the shelves when I put them up so I had to take down this top shelf so that I could rinse it off in the sink. We set up a dog walking station just outside the door and we fill this bag dispenser with doggy bags and the top is open to stock it with bags and they pull out from the bottom and we keep the leashes and the bags together just outside the door so that we have everything we need when we take the dog for a walk. Stand alone. Should 
Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this high state I try to wipe down the outside and the inside of the doors about once a week and I usually take care of both doors at the same time. <laughs> but I didn't get to the dryer door today because I forgot I had laundry that needed to go into the dryer. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. na, na, na. And I wondered how you always write It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me mm -hmm. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me The dispensers pop right out so that I can wash them and I clean the laundry dispensers whenever I notice a buildup but we stopped using products like fabric softeners that build up inside the dispensers and cause mold so I only need to do this a few times a year. It is hard to share my thoughts mm -hmm. na, na, na. It's like cutting a wound in a bleeding heart gets me. The owner's manual recommends cleaning the tub after every 30 loads of laundry and for us that's about once a month and there's an app that's supposed to let us know when it's time to clean the tub but we lost the connection to the app when we replaced the router and we followed all the instructions but we can't get it to work so I just try to remember to clean the tub once a month. Once I finished up in the laundry room, I headed back into the kitchen to finish up and I try to clean all the shelves in the kitchen at the same time. And I always start with the kitchen window and I'm not sure why, but I always forget to clean the shelves next to the window. Cleaning the fridge is a weekly task that I try to do when the fridge is empty because it's much easier and faster to do and I just use a damp microfiber cloth to clean up any crumbs and spills.
have a few organizers that I use in the fridge. I have two that I always use for eggs and avocados, and I have a few other bins that I use to keep things organized. And this turntable helps to keep smaller things within easy reach so that they don't get lost in the back of the fridge. Cleaning the floor wasn't on my list of things to do today, but the kitchen floor needed a quick mop, and while I had the floor cleaner out, <laughs> I decided to clean all the high traffic areas. I love just about everything about this floor cleaner except the charging station and the battery is integrated into the machine so it needs to be plugged into the wall to recharge the battery and since I don't have an electrical outlet in the closet I've been having trouble finding a place to store the machine so I decided to keep it here until I can come up with a better plan. We picked up a few groceries from Costco today, so I just need to get them put away. And we always try to get what we can from Costco, and we pick up the rest from the grocery store. And once I get everything put away, there's a few things that I need to wash and prep today. picked up two packages of pork roasts and I'll leave one in the fridge and I'll freeze the other one and each package has two roasts so I'll cook them both at the same time and we'll have one for dinner and then we'll chop up the other one to use in salads and tacos and then I just need to wash the corn so that it's ready to cook. Oh, 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 oh,
I like to use reusable silicone bags to store food in the fridge and I like to divide up the veggies into serving size portions so that I can see how many servings we have and it makes it easier to plan meals so that food doesn't go bad in the fridge. And I just need to make patties with this ground bison and I'll add about a tablespoon of liquid aminos and a tablespoon of dried onion and about a teaspoon of garlic powder and just a little salt and pepper and I'll mix the seasonings and then divide each package into four patties. need to cut up a few pieces of parchment paper to separate the patties and keep them from sticking together when they freeze and then I'll use a scale to make sure that each patty is about the same size and then I can use a press to make uniform patties. We grill all year round, but now that the weather is warming up, it will be nice to have burgers ready for the grill. So once the patties are all done, I'll cover them with plastic wrap and put them in the freezer. And once they're frozen, I can transfer them to a freezer safe container. If I could take you back to my knees, show you 
what I wish I'd need. My will is strong with the place to me. In the moment I come this fear, the other end of my wrist is broken. But if the light falls, when I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told me. Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Now that everything is put away in the fridge, I just have a few things to put away in the pantry and I always try to rotate the stock in the pantry. So I put the new cans on the bottom and the older cans on top and I'll remove the packaging so that it's easy to get to when we need it. And when I took out the trash, I noticed a vacancy in the living room, and it took all day. But Miss Callie finally left the couch long enough for me to straighten up. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And as always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. What's best for you?